Good afternoon, everybody. And welcome back. I'm just getting organised here on screen. Comments on. All right. I think I need an apron. Where did I put my apron? Hey everyone, how are you going? Sorry, I thought I was all organised. But I just want to pop an apron on because I think I might make a mess. This time. So what do you think of my little reindeer we did earlier? How good does he look with his shiny glittery balls there, hey? Absolutely loved making that. If you missed this morning's live Facebook, you can jump back on and scroll back through my Facebook feed and you will find how I did this lovely little guy this morning, which was fun. Um, okay, so how cute is he? I actually quite like him now. Not that I didn't before, but you know what I mean. Okay, so what we're doing today, hey Kelly, um, is I'm going to do a page in my junk journal. Uh, I've got the, as uh, today of course uh, is Scrap FX Day, which means that all of the Scrap FX products are 15% off. Um, <laughs> uh, so they're all 15% off, which is fantastic for you, and you can get uh yeah 15 percent off of stamps and stencils rice papers uh the a4 sheets that i'll be using today chipboard anything by scrap fx is 15 percent off as part of the great australian craft show so what i thought i would do is a page in my my junk journal so you've all seen me working with this one uh over the last year there's all sorts of bits and pieces in here. The pages that I did yesterday with alcohol inks. So we did this one, which is the alcohol inks on the transparencies. And then I also did this one yesterday using the Scrap Effects foam stamps and uh, Lindy sprays in the background and alcohol ink leaves up through there. So beautiful, lovely green page. Um, so the Scrap Effects Junk Journals are currently my favourite product to, to create in. Um, to be perfectly honest, I don't think I've picked up my Dilutions Journal in a couple of weeks. This is the one I've been using. Uh, so the Junk Journals are fantastic because they are made up of all sorts of bits and pieces. This one here is the Limited Edition Junk Journal. And they, so it, it is made up of lots of different things. So this one is made up of a manila folder. We've got a black piece of cardstock. We've got some heavy denim. We've got some music paper. We've got this one here, which has got uh, the die cut, make, cut out of it. Uh, we've got some grid paper. We've got some craft. We've got a paper bag. We've got some lined paper, plus some colored cardstock. Uh, a tag, some book, really heavy book paper. Um, and then what makes it unique is the, the cutouts. So the cutouts are here. So these are great. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a page on... And the cool thing is, is I can pull it apart, pop this bit aside and come back to it. But I'm going to create a page on the heavy, heavy craft and the triangle graph paper. I thought that would be the go. So I'm going to use a bulldog clip to lock those into place so that it doesn't move. So there's one there. And one there because these are not bound 
these are loose leaves so I could actually run some tape down through here some of the Dina Wakely tape would work really well because it kind of goes clear but I haven't done that today what I want to use in my on my art journal pages today are the designs by Michelle Logan so Michelle has done these ones these are the luminous lovelies uh, and I've pre-cut another one out ready to go these are full color cutouts ready to go in your journal so the luminous lovelies and then I'm also going to use the bold blooms uh, so these are designs that Michelle has created and then they've turned them into these amazing um, pages ready for you to cut out and I'm also going to be using the flowery bits as well so these are her hand painted little pieces of art with some leaves and bits and pieces as well now with my junk journal the first thing I wanted to do is I have given it a coat of heavy gesso and I've used gesso because I want to seal the paper prior to using it because the paper is quite porous and it's going to um, it's going to soak in hey Debbie welcome um, what I want to do is is use use gesso to seal that paper uh, I've decided today my my medium the, the product I'm going to use to add my color is going to be the Dina Wakely gloss sprays but I want to use them in a slightly different way um, I'm going going to I'm going to use them with a brush, I think. So the Dina Wakely Gloss Sprays are acrylic paint in a spray. Um, this one here, I didn't clean the nozzle off, so I'm just using my tweezers to take off any dry paint. A little tip with these, always shake them with the lid on, okay? Because they will leak. My lid has disappeared, so I'm just covering my hand over it and going backwards and forwards and giving it a good shake. I've got a paintbrush handy, I've got a little water handy, and I'm just going to get on there and start getting some colour on. So I've just put a couple of pieces of paper in the background here just to, um, to, to protect my surface, and then I'm just going to spray some paint on. So spraying it on and spreading it out. So by spreading it out with my brush, is actually just speeding up the drying time. And I'm wanting to use this yellow as a, as a background. So using a dry paintbrush, I'm just spreading it so that it kind of feathers a little. Hey, Bronwyn, welcome, love. So exactly the same thing on this side. Now, because this is like a graft paper, it's actually quite thin. So the areas where I haven't gessoed, especially up the top here, you'll see a bit of a difference happen with the water. So just a little bit through the middle to connect it because I'm going to do a double page and leave a little bit of white space. White space is good. So that is using the Lemon Dina Wakely Gloss Spray. Um, what I'm kind of thinking with this page is I want to pop some stenciling on the background. I want to keep it super simple um, because I want my, my cutouts to be the hero. Okay, so I'm going to, she'll probably go on that side actually. That's what I'm thinking. All right, let's add a little bit more colour. I'm just going to quickly dry that off. won't take long because it's acrylic paint so I've got handy a couple of things here this is the um, scrap effects stencil called script phrase and I'm just gonna crack that open
Whoops. And it is a clear stencil, okay? So what that means um, is that you can see exactly where it's gonna go still. It's gonna look amazing, but I wanna pop it on my background and I'm now gonna spray over the top. And I wanna spray over the top using, uh, what have we got here, magenta, okay? So give your acrylic, uh, your gloss spray a good shape. Before using, I need to make sure that my nozzle is not blocked up. Now, there is no magic way to keep that sticking down. I'm just going to leave it there. But before I spray, I just want to do a little test spray on the side to make sure that it's not blocked. And I'm just going to give it a light mist like that. I'm quite happy with this loose script look like so all right now i've also got all of this color on here so i'm going to use that hi jackie oops and now i'm going to wipe that off with a baby wipe straight away so that all of that acrylic paint comes off and they come pretty clean all right, so just building up a little bit of a colour in the background. Now, because it's acrylic paint, it means that I can uh, layer up the colours on top of each other and they're not going to muddy up. So adding some colours together, such as like putting a blue or a green over the top of that, is going to look fine because it is because it's dry underneath. So we're just layering colour. Um, now, Jackie has just asked, where can you get that stencil? Well, you can get that stencil at nataliemay.com.au. You can get that through me. And that stencil is called Script Phrase Stencil. So if you pop that in the search at the top of the page, that will show up pretty quickly. Okay, so that is that one there. Um, I'm just going to pop that aside. Now... No, um, I'm just going to dry that off. So the acrylic, the gloss sprays are like no other product that I have ever used. And I really, really love them. They are so very clever because they, just the way that the colors layer up is fantastic. All right, so I'm gonna keep my stenciling going. I'm gonna do a little bit more before I do anything else. Um, I'm now gonna use the Dina Wakeley Big Squabbles. Bizarre name, very cool stencil. So let's go in with turquoise, giving it a good shake. making sure it's not blocked up. So because, like I said before, because it's an acrylic paint, you do need to make sure that it is well shaken, well shook, well shook. And I'm gonna mask it off with some paper towel on this side. Oh, there we go. And I'll do the same thing here, but I'm gonna work more that side and make sure that they are straight. I might stamp with it first because I've got all of that beautiful colour on there. So what happens with the gloss sprays and you can see it here, they're starting to pull on top of each other and that is because You've got the slickness of the acrylic paint and they are, the colours are settling on top of each other so they're not soaking in and that's the look I was after. <coughs> yes. Might just hit that one again.
and hit it with the heat gun. So quick bit of drying in between just secures that paint right down. Hey Tina, welcome. So this page is all about um, it's all about the images. It's not about the what's going on in the background. Okay, so I'm making sure that the background has still got a nice pop of colour, but I'm not too phased about the perfection behind it because it's just the background. It's not the key point of the page. I'm just working on building up to my my focal point rather than rather than creating my focal point first, okay? Oh, come on, dry. There we go. Dry enough. Um, probably needed to wipe that off first. So let's just... Do that quickly. All right, so that was called Big Squabbles, which is an unusual name, but it works. Ha! <laughs> oh, Tina, thank you, husband, for allowing you to come out and play with me. I appreciate that. Um, okay, so this time, instead of using more of the Dina spray, I thought that I might add some stamping and building up my layers in the background. So the stamp that I've got out to use, I've got a couple of the Natalie May scrapbooking stamps, the ones that I've designed. And I've gone with the stamp called Won't Let You Down, which is all a typewriter script because I've chosen this one because I wanted the script to tie in with the image. Now the images that I've cut out previously and using these guys here have all got book paper and typewriting already in it. So this is going to sit up here and then I'm going to add a collage of flowers and bits and pieces down in this side here. So as you can see from the flowery bits and the bold blooms, They've all got book paper in them. So I need to tie that through to make sure that um, I've got some, oh, that it's tied all the way through, that it's all, it's, they're not just there as a random. So these are, when you purchase this particular stamp, it, um, it comes as a piece that is about that wide and you need to trim it back. So all of my stamp designs are on red rubber. I'm not putting it on an acrylic block. I'm wanting it loose because I don't want it to be perfect. I'm using black archival ink because I want to make sure that whatever I stamp is permanent and it stays there and it's not going to reactivate if I decide to add more color later. So I'm just doing some loose stamp and I'm bending the stamp so that it doesn't do the whole image. It kind of gives me this broken finish. I know that that's going to go there. So I can pop that like that. Um, I'm going to do the other side separately. I'll put a bit more over here first. This one is called the blah, blah, blah stamp. I used it yesterday as well. It comes as a two, there's like two stamps in the set. The other one is has got blah, blah, blah written all over it. Um, and again, see how I've cut it in really, really tight? That is the key to making sure that you don't get any over, over stamping. Yeah. Okay, so you can see just adding those um, over the top has given it a nice little pop of dimension. And I'll bring it up to the camera in a moment uh, and show you the detail in that. So on this side, I've still got a little bit of wet paint here. So I'm just going to quickly dry that off. No, I'm not because my heat gun stopped. That's inconvenient. Okay, 
so what I'm going to do then instead is I'm just going to use a piece of paper towel and take those puddles off. I think I've just overheated it, Lou. It's oh. all right. It's just having a moment. It's having a little tantrum. Uh, and now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So with it, with this one, I always make sure that you, you stamp up the right way. You do want your letters to all be up the right way. There's nothing worse than upside down words on a project. And I love the flexibility of using stamps like this so that they are not completely and totally legible. Uh, Tina, her, Tracy's just asked, Will the gloss spray affect your stamp with with it not being dry? What do you mean? Like getting the, um, with this, oh yeah. Look, if it's not totally dry, like this here, it's just a little smudgy. Okay, so I do also have some paint in here, but what I'll do is I'll give this a scrub with my scrubbing brush after. And that is the advantage of a red rubber stamp, is that you can give them a nice old clean. And I'm just going to pop this one here. So the gloss sprays are exactly that. They've got a lovely sheen to them. And I'm pretty sure that that gloss is showing up on camera. Um, and that, that's amazing. It's a really, really nice, unique product. I would normally just wipe that off with a baby wipe, but I'm just going to off stamp it off onto the side. Okie dokie, what's next? What can we do? I want her to go here. I want, I think I want to use these. I think I want to use these somehow, or this pattern. I think I want to use that. Okay. So this is my um, leafy, my branching out stencil um, that I designed. So when you buy this stencil, it comes with the negatives as well You um, in the bag. And so you get the masks as well as the stencil. Um, instead of using the spray, I'm going to use the paint. And the paint... The paint colour I'm going to use is the Dina Wakely Night. So it is a, uh, a navy, navy, navy blue. So I'm going to do a squirt of it onto here. And it's going to go into the background. It's not the hero. Is that a okay, I've got a dirty sponge here, but since that's what I've got, let's commit to it. Um... Now it's a blue sponge. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. And I'm going to go for a long one, so I'm going to go up here. And the acrylic paint is sitting beautifully on top of the gloss paints and I'm going to join that up and make that one big long one. Hey, hey look at that. A bit more, need one more on this side. I'm going to cover most of these up, but they need to be on there just the same. Beautiful. Okay, and I'm going to pop one. Let's just grab that paint. Pop some over this side for balance. Way too much paint on my sponge there, so I just made sure that I'm tapping a little bit off onto my, my mat in the background. Otherwise, I will end up with a hot mess of something that I can't fix. So, 
it's a lot harder to take the paint off than it is to put it on and I'm going to do that one over here so using your blending tool for um, your paint application will ensure that you just get a nice coverage whoops missed a bit Rightio. Okay, so another baby wipe. Does anybody else have shares in a baby wipe factory or is it just me? Okay, what do I want to do next? Let's have a bit of a think about this. I'm gonna pop that aside. Pop those little guys aside. And while that's drying, just gonna grab a black pen and just add a little frame around my edges. And I'm gonna do this beforehand just because the paint's drying still and I don't know that I want to add any more color. So all the Scrap FX products this weekend, like I said, oh, look, sorry, today, Goodness me, that was almost a faux pas. All of the Scrap FX products today are 15% off. So that means the products that you're seeing me use now with the junk journals and the cutouts and the rice papers, that gorgeous script stencil that I just used, they are all 15% off. So I have cut out this lovely, this luminous lovely, and she's gonna go here. Um, I also pre-cut some of these guys out. So let's have a look and see what I've cut and how I can make them work. Um, so these are the bold blooms and the flowery bits. Splendid names does really say it all. So they're going to sit something like that. So I'm going to connect them up. Um, I might pop this one down here in underneath and that can come out there. And I'm going to finish it off when I get to it with a, a few doodling black pen lines. Because these guys have got lots of doodling marks in them. And you can see that they've got lots of pen mark on it. So I'm definitely going to need pen marks somewhere else. Okay. Um, all right, so how do I stick those on? I use some glue. I'm going to stick on her first. And my glue is a bit oozy today, but you know what? That's okay. Let's commit to it. I could also use gel medium, but glue is going to work just fine. And I know that I wanted to slide that one in under there. So before I squish it down, I need to do that. Where did the other one go up there? there and now I can squish it so in order for that to stand out I need to add a few more little elements to it in a moment so uh, on this side I think I will add some flowers over the top of this so I'm going to start at the top there And there, I love the colouring in this one, it's gorgeous. Welcome Kayleen, how are you? I'll pop this little guy over here, it's a bit 
bit heavy handed on the glue with that, I think. That's a good spot. Hey Sandra, welcome. Welcome, welcome to my little art journal page. So I'm working in the Scrap Effects Junk Journal, which has got a, a, a few different textured pages, so a few different substrates. So we're talking here with a uh, I've got a, a craft paper on this side that I'm working with and this side is a graph paper. Um, so there's a few different papers that are a few different surfaces to work on in this journal, which makes it a really, really fun project. Uh, okay, I'm going to pop the lid back on my glue. All right, so I've got these down here. I've done sprays, uh, the Dina Wakeley gloss sprays in the background. I've got my flowers on. I'm going to move that one down a bit. And they're currently sitting up a bit with a bit of height, so I'm just going to swipe some glue behind it with my finger. And while that is drying, I just want to give it a good second or so just to catch. I'll bring it up to the camera to show you what I have been, what it looks like up close. Okay, so really pretty. That background has got lots of different elements in it and I've got some overlap there with those flowers. Then on this side, you can see that. Oh, hi, Stefan. I'm so glad you joined me. <laughs> um, there we go. And then I've got that other page there. Um, sorry, Stefan, we couldn't wait for you to join in, love. Got to love it when a, one of your best friends pops in for a visit who's non-crafty. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to cut that side off there, which I don't need to. There's no reason why it can't just hang out the side. Um, okay, and this one here. Cut that off the bottom. Okay, so now it's about adding some detail. So the detail comes in the doodling. You're always here for me. I know you are, Stefan. Thank you, mate. Um, so the detail comes in the doodling and the and, and adding a phrase to finish it off with. So with the flowery bits, I could also add some leaves. There's these gorgeous little leaves in and around here, but I've got enough foliage in the background there, so I don't need to do that. Um... The Luminous Lovelies, which just rolls off the tongue like a dream, has got these great little phrases in them. I love these. I love the ones with the uh, black backgrounds um, and they scream out to me. So I'm going to cut those out and I'm going to add those on to the page. And I'll add them on in a minute, but I think I need to put them there and there okay so building up to that what can i do black pen and let's make make just add a, add a little bit more doodle all right because everybody loves a doodle we've talked about that numerous times today so i'm just going to black pen around the edge here first um what black pen am i using just some random one out of my stash um, I am a collector of the black pens and I'm just following the lines that Michelle has already done and already started with this, this lovely little image. So I am just going around the edges and enhancing those to give it that, oh look, Natalie's drawn that herself look, which is essentially... You know what you're after you're after something that fits seamlessly into your 
your design, okay? Um, so the same thing here, I just want to enhance some of these lines. Michelle has done, you know, the Scrap Effects papers have done majority of the work, which is fantastic, but you need to now turn it into your own, okay? So that comes from adding these lovely little doodle elements in, okay? So I'm now going to give my flowers some stem. I'm going to go over the top and I'm not going to, for perfection because nothing else about this page is perfect and that's really important. It's an art journal so I'm creating it for me, not, not for you, not for anybody else. I'm creating it for me. Okay, so I'm not... I'm not worried if you think that it's messy and Im imperfect because that's not something that, that is of interest to me because I, um, I create to make me happy, all right, if that makes sense. So I'm going, I've just, yeah, enhanced that, added a few extra black lines, a um, bit more down through the middle here. And I'm going to add some white pen in, it in, 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 ah, in a minute as well. So I'm going to do the same thing over here because I want these flowers to fit in a bit more and not get lost in the background. So I'm going to go straight over the top like that. Um, a thin black Sharpie will also do this sort of finish. The food ball pen, which you'll, you'll find available online, will also go over the top of this paper really well. Um, the... Pilot drawing pen will also go over the top really nicely and have a permanent waterproof finish, which is important. Um, there we go. But you want you want that loose hand scribbly sort of look, okay? It's not about perfection, okay? Nothing else about this page says perfection. And my flowers still need stems. They still need connecting. So whether or not it just be these little lines down here that you can't see, but you know that are there. Um, all right. I'm going to add some white pen marks now. So I'm going to do that with my Pilot Pintor pen. That's a mouthful. And I'm just going to make sure that that's dry. And then just go over the top. So what I love about these pens is that it works every time you use it. Well, for me, anyway. I haven't had any problems with these pens. Um, I use the fine and the medium all of the time. And now in sa oh, I just got paint, wet paint on the tip. Um, so I, I love that they just, they're super pigmented. They work really nicely. Um, they're available in a huge range of colors. And the white is actually white. All right, so so I can add some elements of white to my, my flowers here to help those stand out a little. And I'll do the same thing over here. So this page was inspired by the colours in my my image here, um, the scrap effects image. So it's about having a look at what you can see and what's going to work on your page. What's going to I've just got paint on that tip again. Um, what what's going to stand out and look fantastic? You want to enhance your page rather than get get it have it get lost on there. Okay. Um, I want a little bit more white around her eyes. Oh, whoops, that was too much. 
Let's start again. Uh, and this little flower up here. I think that could probably just do with a little bit of a white pop. And it's quite a scribbly little image. Um, and then I want to add up through the middle of this lovely image is a black mark that a black scribbly line. So I want to, I'm going to fill in the little petals to make them stand out more. Okay. And then um, I can go back over if I need to with a black pen because I'm being super loose and make that work. All right, loving it, loving it, loving it. I'm going to let that dry before I do over the top of that. Cut this out and let's do it the easy way. We go snip. Snip. Original, be fearless, be independent, be original. Love that. And if you can't be fearless, if you can't be independent, and if you can't be original, just own whatever your bloody well can do. That's my thoughts anyway. All right. Let's crack that glue out again, which has just exploded on my desk. Ah, there we go, bit of glue on there. Nat, do you sell those long scissors, please? Hey, um, Debbie, I've actually got them on order. Uh, so I'm hoping that they're coming in very shortly. They have been out of stock, so um, if you wouldn't mind sending me a private message and I will put them in my order book to give you a call, give you a message when they come in and allocate them to you. The, oh shit, the, um, the shivers, sorry. The Tim Holtz, they're the shears. Uh, they are great. They're, they're expensive. But again, they're an investment tool. So there's something that you will always have um, if you don't let the kids use them. Um, did anybody watch my, my tools video? I did a live Facebook earlier on in the week uh, talking about all of my favorite tools. Send me a message, Jackie. Um, my favorite tools, what I like to use and what they're all used for. So if you scroll back through, you will find it on my Facebook. Um, I will also be uploading all of these videos to YouTube in a couple of days time. I'm a little time poor at the moment. I'm just doing the things that we need to do. Uh, and I will sit down during the week and upload all of these videos to YouTube and you'll be able to find all of my previous ones on YouTube as well. Uh, just do a little search for Natalie May Scrapbook Ideas, I think it's called. Um, all right, perfection is overrated. There we go. Okay. Let's just, I'm just holding that down. Give it a second. For the glue to catch. And you know what? I'm going to call this done. Done like a dinner. Oh, take my bulldog clip off there. Put that back where I found it, up there. So yeah, make sure that you, um, you pop back and have a look at some of the other videos that I have done over the last few days. Everybody loves a free mini class. Um, I love sharing my, my, my knowledge and my million years of um, working in this industry with you guys. Um, I think that that is the best part of what I do. Um, 
And it's even better when I see you actually create something based on what I have shown you. So don't forget to, uh, to join the Natalie May, or classes with Natalie May Facebook group and you will be able to share your creations. Um, and please do, because I think that's awesome. Um, stick. So just in finishing up, guys, I'm just going to talk through what we have done, what I've done today, and show you the steps, talk you through the steps again. Um, I'm using the Scrap Effects Junk Journal and using, uh, which is 15% off for today only. Um, in the background, I coated it with gesso first so that you can, so that the paper or the background is not going to soak in the paint. I then used the Dina Wakeley Gloss Sprays in magenta, lemon and... Turquoise, wherever that one's gone. Oh, here we go. And turquoise and some stencils in the background. So the stencils that I used was a scrap effects stencil. And I put that one in a safe place as well. Um, <laughs> as well as the Dina Wakeley squabbles. Um, I then used the Natalie May scrapbooking stamp called Won't Let You Down. That I designed to add some words to it as well as my original art stamp as well. I then cut the Luminous Lovelies and added her to my page, as well as the Bold Blooms, and then the Leafy Bits, Flowery Bits, sorry, um, designed by Michelle Logan. And also in the background here, I've used the branching out stencil that I have designed. So I'll bring that up for you to have a close look at. All right. So that you can see all of those little details, that Pintor pen, that white pen, how it coloured in the flowers down the middle of the luminous lovely. So there you go. So I will uh, take a photograph and upload it to the Facebook page so that you can have a look and link in the comments uh, the products that I have used for you to have a look at as well. So don't forget, guys, we've got 15% off Christmas until the end of tomorrow, anything Christmas. We also have 15% off paper collections. We have 15% off Lindy's products. 15% uh, off of scrap effects products for today only. That will stop when I go to bed tonight. So um, scrap effects for today only. And don't forget that you can pay for your first order only on shipping for $12.50. Um, and then if you want to order a second or a third or a 17th time, um, you just select no judgment at the checkout instead of paying for postage again and again and again. So what is happening is that we have a heap of trestles full of your orders bagged up ready to go and we will just print off your order, pick the product, add it to the bag and then we will be posting on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, and then we will get those out to you as soon as we possibly can. So I hope you're all having an amazing day. Um, and I will be back again doing a scrapbook layout at uh, four something. Sorry, I forgot. 4.30 p.m., 4 o'clock Adelaide time. So um, I look forward to seeing you all back then. I'm just going to do a scrapbook layout with, a, with the beautiful 49 and market papers. Um, so I look forward to seeing you all back then. Jump online to nataliemay.com.au. Um, if you have any questions, please flick me a message. I would love to answer those for you. Or if you're chasing something in an, or in a, that I've used in a video, just let me know. Look forward to chatting with you all soon and um, thanks guys.